Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley, and yes, these are elephants with cannons mounted on their back. So it's going to be Medieval 2, Total War, a fun battle. I'm going to be playing as a Timur. It's never really played as them before, but uh, when I remember that they had, you know, elephants wielding cannons, I just had to bring them. So I'm going to be basically bringing this Timur force that has a lot of these um, cheap troops, handgunners in the front, but then really cheap halberd militia. I do have some Neftun guys just to hit the high armor units that I face and then I have three of these Charisman cavalry. On my right flank is going to be actually Indy Pride. He's been playing as Egypt here. He also brought a contingent of light troops so a whole bunch of these desert archers just in the front and then he has some of these halberd militia, militia that he's pushing to the left and he's also coming in with these Sudanese tribesmen. Very light but uh, still deadly warriors nonetheless. They're going to be pushing kind of to support my flank and then he has these royal mamelukes three of these guys as well. And the reason he's pulling back is because the Russian player over here is secure atop the hill. My guys are going to be charging forward and you can see the army behind me is actually going to be pixelated Apollo here, gloriously coming up through the, the desert sands. And he's going to be the Turks. He has a mix of Genissary Musketeers along with a whole bunch of cavalry and Saracen militia. So definitely a glorious force. <laughs> and then just at the, like the first cannonballs that go off this battle. The first kill of the game happens to be my general, so I was super pissed about that. My elephants are starting to run and start to panic, so I'm going to immediately put them behind a hill. So you may be asking the question, you know, what? how did he get killed? Well, the enemy brought cannons, and that's going to be the force facing off against us here. The Polish army here with some serpentine artillery, three of them going to be starting to bombard my elephants, um, and they see our forces arrayed in front of them. Uh, and they should start to quiver because all all Poland has as a front line is peasants and we can run those guys over What they do have however are these Polish retainers and Polish knights Some of them right there or oh, are those retainers or yeah retainers and then we have some of Polish guard Very very heavy cavalry and they're lining up uh, against our dudes Over here we have uh, the Moors coming up slowly but surely with some bodyguard and dismounted Christian guard, so that should be a little scary. Meanwhile, Russia is going to be holding the top of the hill. Just wanted to cover a little bit of this. I have put my uh, heavy gunners up front, hand gunners, I should say, to try and start forcing these guys back, and it looks like we're going to be able to do that. Uh, Pixelated is doing a good job of helping, you know, reinforce my lines with some of these Alan light cavalry, and then I'm moving forward with my spear militia just to ward back the enemy cavalry. And then I'm going to continue to push forward with my hand gunners right here. I have kind of crept my um, elephants up through here to the point where they can now reload and get some shots off. You can see it's already starting to do some ha damage. So I'm trying to suppress this position up here, killing two of these DeFore cavalry. You'll see Poland has secured this hill uh, a little bit. A lot of the cavalry positioned up through here. And then a lot of uh, musketeers and infantry. Anyways, the enemy did a, a sally and just ran right over my spear militia. They're down to 21 men left, so that's what happens uh, when you're not adequately protected. I was hoping to get some, you know, volleys with my units right here and make those guys pay, but they didn't really lose too many men in the process. Um, so I was a little upset about that, but we have a lot more of these guys here to try and punish the enemy if they move forward. Yeah, my spear militia coming back having been uh, pretty much crushed. So now as fodder units are going to charge forward, our guys are being drawn up. My elephants are in a pretty secure position. Where we, and I, I'm surprised I can say this in a game. <laughs> the elephants are shelling the hilltop position. Um, but that is what's going on here. And I'm, oh god, I should look out. He's got the cannon right up against his head. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm kind of covered from the enemy ca uh, artillery. And he's pushing up here on the right with his desert archers, kind of milling about, starting to pick off some of these units. The rest of the force is kind of hidden behind the hill, so they have that advantage going for them. The Boyar's sons, these heavy infantry, just waiting out here. But we should be able to slowly whittle this away and uh, make our approach. We're, however, not going to take this, uh, you know, the easy and the slow way. We're going to be charging up through the center, so you can see exactly that's what my guys are doing. Spear militia going to be pushing up through the front. Now they are trying to suppress us here, but against Desert Archers, um, we're going to have the advantage there. So here comes our forces, sprinting forward, trying to get up in position. Spear Militia is going to be right up to the front. The enemy cavalry is starting to make movements ahead of our guys. And they're going to get right through to these Janissary Musketeers. So cavalry here engaging with our units. Pretty good charge, but they're going to get counteracted. 
And this is going to precipitate a charge on that front with our guys here. Where it looks like we're going to look to uh, to nail these. Yep, got these Polish guys and that charge devastating. Holy crap, those Royal Mamluks just spanking those uh, Polish retainers right through there. So that's going to give us a little bit of an edge. We're now pushing forward with our hand gunners and other units. Starting to unleash. We've secured this position. Starting to pepper the enemy lines and yep, they're forced to fall back. Christian Guard is pushing forward with some Sunni's gunners and others starting to pepper our guys. They've done pretty good amounts of damage with some of their supporting um, archers where they have yeah, the desert archers. But we have light cav milling about our own, uh, you know, we're going to chase off the grenadines there. And now we're just swarming these remaining guys up through here. But what that's going to do is it's going to force the enemy to react in some way. And so here they come. Charging downhill. We do have a mix of Mamelukes and uh, Spear Militia. The Spear Militia is going to be crucial for forcing this back. One more Halberd Militia is going to be enough to uh, secure this flank and force this position back. Indy is going to continue to press. It looks like his Sudanese warriors are going to want to uh, charge up through here. Meanwhile, my elephants have moved up into a, uh, a better position. However, just as I say that, they're going to take volleys and they're actually huge targets and can take batteries very easily. So there go my elephants before I could get a, a counter volley. Up to the center, my hand gunners are going to try and stand firm. I'm going to try and intercept these cavalry with my uh, units right through there, but the enemy is going to charge right on through. Don't get any volleys off, but it does mean I get my halberdiers in through here. We're going to be chasing those units back, so caught a couple of them. And we're slowly trying to close in on the enemy uh, line of, of peasants and uh, serpentine units. Combined charge against the cavs, so we're warding that off, allowing us to push forward. Up through the top, Indy has sent his guys en masse here. They're now going to be cresting the hill, the Sudan Sudanese tribesmen. Going to be attacking Boyar's son, who are being kind of suppressed by the archers. You can see in the distance all the stuff that's going on here, so an epic fight to be sure. Royal Mamluk's going to be cleaning up units, circling around back, and then charging here. So now it's going to be an all-out assault. They have been able to hold this side with huge amounts of heavy cav, but uh, we're encroaching on that. Up through the middle, we're pulling back a little bit to our defensive position. Our uh, Genitary Musketeers doing good work, with themselves getting charged. We are having some sort of a response, uh, although over here, looks like the Alan Light Cavalry is getting picked apart by the Grenadine. That's fine. Looks like the main engagement is going to slowly kind of be underway. I'm being a little hesitant here about charging forward, uh, risking being charged by these Polish guards, but that's fine. Just wanted to bait him with these hand gunners, so I'm going to try and pull out of this position. And counter charge over here. Have only half their men left. So Kresmian Cav against Polish Guard Cav. This probably would have happened uh, historically. Um, or at least some of the Kresmians when they were pulled over by the um, the Mongols during their conquest. Uh, definitely helping to smack down the Polish knights. Um, so we're crashing through here. The peasants break almost instantly. So the center is being routed by even my cheap troops. Uh, my Nafatun is right through here. Pulling back because I want to save them for key moments. And the rest of my spear militia is just suppressing what we have uh, going on through there. Mameluk's going to come in and land some nice strikes against these Polish knights who are otherwise occupied. And my Nafatun in a really good position. They are excellent. They can kill almost anything here, especially against these heavily armored Polish knights. Just throw a couple, uh, you know, volleys into there. And it's going to start to break them. You can see, yep, yeah, Polish guard is going to start to retreat. And there goes a, a volley. Yeah, you can see every shot is going to burn those guys alive. So we've secured the hill. We're now going to be charging down into the remaining guys. Just cleaning house these Sudanese guys. Um, destroying the Boyar sons. Um, we just enveloped this position and destroyed it. The center we charged right on through. Most of the cover engagements are still going on, but the rest of it is, is now just going to be a solid mess. We finally pushed through to the artillery. Which is merely being defended by peasants. Should be an easy win for us. But uh, 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 such an interesting mix of technology happening here. We have, um, you know, Naftune throwers, cannons, but heavy cavalry as well. All of this going on at the same time. Um, but we are going to be the victors on this front. The Moors are still alive. Um, Pixelated Paul has been doing a good job of keeping them at bay with his troops. And now he's going to charge forward with the Saracen militia. His uh, Janissary is still unloading on these dismounted Christian guards. That's exactly how you want to take these guys. These guys are badass in combat. So we're going to accept an, uh, an assault with them, but 
only uh, while we have some flanking shots, so we'll be able to finally take out these dismounted Christian guards um, and sweep down through here. My elephant guys still have been running amok since the beginning of the battle, so pretty useless units, but I think fun nonetheless. Here comes the rainbow of flags as we sweep down through the top and try and clear out what remains in the center. Indy Pride is reforming his guys. Same with me, I'm going to start to charge forward. Uh, most of my Timurids here are chasing down the enemy forces. I'm going to try and recommit to this fight and help uh, pixelated Apollo tear these guys apart. Somehow my militia is still in the fight and we're just going to overwhelm this Christian Guard unit. Sunni gunners here. Going to start to uh, chew into our guys. So we, uh, you know, this could be a problem uh, if we don't charge anything through. But it looks like, yep, Indy Pride's going to see that chance and he's going to charge Heavy Cab to these lightly armed units, so that should be the end of them. Christian Guard are still killing our guys, but that's okay. We've been able to whittle them down significantly. And Russia looks like they're coming back in force. They had a couple um, cover units seemingly rally, and so here they comes at the rear of our guy, Dvor Cavalry. They are missile cavs, so we're not too worried about these guys. They can still get a heavy charge against us, but uh, I don't think we're overall too fearful of them. The main force you can see here is charging forward, and Indy is merely going to turn around some of the desert archers to greet those guys. So still mopping up duties. My Charisman cab going to run over some of the cannon crew still alive. And let's, let's watch this as we, we greet some of these guys over here. Only half their men left. So here we go. All of our guys and the um, Sudanese tribes are going to be charging forward. Crazy battle going on. And yeah, they're just getting cut down in swaths by our desert archers. Looks like they were kind of covering some boyar sons. who are going to try and um, end this in a somewhat glorious way. But uh, if they get any closer, we're going to jump on them with our Sudanese tribesmen. The desert archers still continue to pick these guys apart. And these boyar sons. See if we actually get a counter charge against them. Oh, some of those guys actually Dwar Cavalry shooting our guys apart. But now here comes our combined ranks against these uh, dismounted Boyar sons. They're actually killing some of our guys, but uh, yeah, we should be winning this up. In the rear, hand gunners are still continuing to shoot at this bodyguard unit that's somehow been alive in the middle of our fight. Christian Guard is running up against me. That's exactly where these Snapatoon guys can just clean house. I mean, really easy kills on them. So there you go. Gonna break the Christian Guard. Janissaries and all these Turkic forces are gonna be pulling back. We've basically slaughtered this force and now we're gonna be collapsing in on the remaining general. Who's somehow still alive. Gonna have my Naftoons get the last couple of volleys against this guy. There you go. Perfect clay pot right in his face. And that is going to be it. Last one is still going to try and get away. I'm not sure if he's going to get shot down or anything. Uh, but there is no running. We have a ton of guys left. Meanwhile, the Boyar Sons were actually finally destroyed. And <laughs> we even have more Naftoon guys. You can see how awesome these guys are. Um, the enemy should probably charge them with Cav. But if they go un uncontested, they can do a lot of damage. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get them pinned down, so keep them in place, follow up with a couple nice volleys right through there, boom, two for one. And there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was definitely a huge battle, goofiness going around, um, but uh, definitely very enjoyable. I love these Medieval 2 fights. Uh, so if you have any other recommendations for stuff you'd like to see, definitely stay tuned for that. And it was a great pleasure, as always, to play with Indie Pride and Pixelated Apollo. Check out both of their channels. I'll link them below. Uh, they're really fun guys, and they run great channels. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fast forward this. And, uh, well, didn't even need to. We can take a look at the kills. Yeah, looks like myself not getting too many, uh, too many kills, actually the least amount. Um, taking a lot of prisoners, though, so hell yeah, doing work. <laughs> Um, how many guys did I bring? Brought, I brought the least amount of guys. Um, lost a fair amount. So overall, I didn't do too well. I had a lot of fodder units and the elephants that didn't do too much. But uh, I think overall, in combination, we did well. Indy doing the 
um, you know, bulk of the killing, cleaning up the Russians and then sweeping down on us. Uh, let's take a look at uh, how the stats broke down between different units. Can't sort these. Uh, casualties inflicted. So who did the most? 56. Halberd Militia actually, probably cleaning up some of the peasants. And uh, yeah, nothing too impressive right there. Some of these guys, Grizzly and Cav, yeah, running down 176 routing men. So not too impressive from my forces. Nafatoon, however, still getting 30 and 15. So, huh, solid all around. It got us a victory nonetheless. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.